We continue with some big news for affordable housing in Virginia. Senators Warner and Kane have announced tens of millions of dollars are headed to the state to address the issue. But the big question is, where in the state will that money go? Ted on your side's Chris Horn has been looking into whether Hampton Roads will get the much needed funding. Chris. Anita Kane and Warner say a total of $41 million is heading Virginia's way. We're getting new details, or few details, I should say, from their offices or the state housing office on how much of it will come to Hampton Roads, though. But when you have to wait as long as 10 years to get off the affordable housing waiting list, any amount will help. Could local public housing programs use a slice of $41 million in grant money? Absolutely, according to the head of Portsmouth's Redevelopment and Housing Authority. The PRHA manages about 1,800 units in 11 communities, and right now they're at full capacity. We have over 7,000 families on that particular wait list. And then there are units owned by private landlords. We have over 3,000 families on that particular wait list. Bland says Portsmouth has thousands of people who qualify for public housing for any of a number of different reasons. In this region here, you have a lot, you have a lot of families that work in the service industry, as well as you have some families because they may be disabled, or elderly, or handicapped. So while it may take a few years for his agency to place someone who's waiting to move into a privately owned home or apartment, the wait for the PRHA communities is much longer. Once again, if we, got, if we have over 7,000 folks on that wait list, uh, you, you got a family maybe waiting anywhere from 7 to uh, 10 years before something becomes available. Bland says it's unclear how much of the money announced by Kane and Warner will trickle down to Portsmouth, but anything would help. Whatever money we could get, we could use to provide additional affordable housing to families in, here in Portsmouth that, that need affordable housing. And we also talked with the head of Virginia Beach's affordable housing program. Andy Friedman says he's received no details on the money announced yesterday either. His agency doesn't own properties like Portsmouth does, but he says the wait for privately owned Section 8 placements is similar, at least seven years. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.